we have some great news on the podcasting front. Um, it, it was announced just today, actually. I've just finished listening to the episode. But Joe Budden Podcast has signed, ex- well, not exclusive, it has signed a partnership deal with Patreon. And Joe is also joining uh, Patreon as a chief equity advisor. Or oh, yeah, chief equity advisor. That's be a chief equity advisor. So um, it's all looking good, man. It's all looking good after um after this, after this headlines or says after Nick in Nixing the Spotify pact, Joe Biden launches Patreon subscription and joins creator equity as advisor. So a lot of people had a lot of things to say when the Spotify deal crumbled because it did follow a supposed pattern that exists with Joe Biden where he is quite self destructive and he ends up fucking or fumbling the bag as they say on the internet and um you know people for some reason not sure what it is about business and artistry but it does seem to be a lot of like armchair quarterbacks that exist on social media and within the kind of commentary community right um i wouldn't say i myself included i wouldn't say that because i'm an i'm an actual practitioner like i actually go out and do things i put on events i dj in parties um i release things when i you know get around to doing it but i wouldn't say i'm in that category but there are a lot of people you seem to have a lot to say about other people's business dealings um when i would imagine if they were put in the same position they'd probably negotiate a worse deal right so it's very strange how people are going over that i understand the premise i understand the desire to get involved because i do think there's been too much said about the bad deals that exist in in the industry wherever you wherever industry you're in and not enough said about the people who are negotiating these deals just getting themselves into bad deals in general um and the fact that there are good deals that do exist out there but if you're in a good deal you're not going to share out the rooftops you're just going to keep your counsel and keep it moving so um for all the people that were quick to kind of write him off and say that he didn't necessarily get the best out of the spotify deal and he fumbled the bag and he fucked over his co-host and all this other stuff now is probably the time to kind of give him these flowers and recognize that maybe the long game that he sort of worked out for himself and the idea that he had in terms of his morals and what he was trying to um look at in terms of the overall picture and what message he was trying to send by signing the deal is basically been proven right because joining patreon as an advisory in an advisory role or any role in that in that sense even if you made it up is very very important for the overall journey and picture of where they're going as a podcast and as a network and it does represent and it does kind of showcase because it's important it's, it shouldn't be but these sort of like commercial mainstream acknowledgements of what you're doing especially when you're a black person are very important because the narrative needs to be rewritten right things need to change in terms of how you're viewed as a race as a community and the only way to do it is to kind of align yourself with these mainstream brands and then basically do what you were doing prior and hold the door open for others to come in and then the kind of conversation starts to change because it's no coincidence that there has been as much as there's been an influx of artists infiltrating grime hip-hop um techno music house dj whatever it may be there is still a lot of people who have also started operating and starting up studios record labels uh being managers you know whatever it may be a lot of people are getting into it in general and i think it has a lot to do with the visibility of these people who look like you basically saying hey if you love music you don't always just have to be a rapper or a singer you can also work in these avenues and i think the way joe saw like pushing things forward with the podcasting platform is great too because it's definitely showing people that there's another avenue you could come into um in terms of the hip-hop space that you know kind of lends itself to the podcasting commentary commentary sort of platform as opposed to standing in front of a microphone which is you know turning into a, a very um profitable side of the business only for a small amount of people right and for the most part who's really making the big bucks during streaming era at home nowadays even if you stream you know a million you're still not getting that much so it's only the top top eyes that are making it so there definitely needs to be an acknowledgement that hey there needs to be another there needs to be another route into making some kind of income that exists out there so let's read the article here from variety it says the following Joe Biden thinks um he got shafted by Spotify in his podcast now he's throwing it in with Patreon the platform built to let artists and creators support themselves through fan subscriptions and Biden a top podcaster and prominent voice in the hip-hop community has signed on to work with Patreon to promote its mission of fostering creative independence looking to expand his media brand Biden has launched a Joe Biden network on Patreon offering a range of bonus content and perks to subscribers on their three different tiers Biden also joined Patreon in an advisory role as a head of creator content sorry head of creator 
equity which is great considering the if you listen to the show you know that's a great title for him considering the rants he goes on about splits and what people should be earning and turning down certain deals and whatever it may be a paid position which in which he'll collaborate with the company and the creator programs and policies i liked how they um it's interesting to his variety because he's always speaking about how nice he, how much he loves variety so it's cool that they kind of reached out and did a story with him so big up them um and obviously pointing out that it's, it's a paid position it's not just a, a role um in name only that's great to see let's continue on after his acrimonious split with Spotify last year, I spoke to everybody he said under the sun. I spoke to a lot of companies, but the true value of thing about the true value of things. Uh, Budden landed a phone call with Jack Conte, CEO of Patreon, and the two clicked. He said, "We were aligned in our ideology and our view of things." I walked away from those conversations with a good feeling, having a platform like Patreon actually wanted to do the right for creators. Um, that was such a abnormal feeling, but it shouldn't be for sure. Conti, who co-founded Patreon in 2013 after he grew frustrated with trying to eke out a living on YouTube as an indie musician, said he established a company precisely to give creators like Budden financial and creative freedom. He said, tech companies pay creators the minimum that they can get away with. It's not just a Spotify thing, it's YouTube, it's Facebook, Facebook, Google. Um, these platforms are paying creators a fraction of what they are worth. Conti said, Joe and I share the anger and the unwillingness to put up with the BS with these distributors and the current infrastructure. So they're actually a match made in heaven. Visually, right, two bold beard bearded dudes but also in terms of how they view the industry and how they view um the revenue splits that creators get on the internet which is still a bit of a murky world so definitely a great alignment there uh patreon offers three different pack packages for its creators the additional packages and benefits at higher levels light with the company taking five percent the earnings pro eight percent premium twelve percent each of these is lower than the revenue sharing splits on virtually all platforms they take so um that's nice it says members who join the new joe budden network on patreon.com for slash joe budden will have access to a range of exclusive benefits the entry level homies tier five dollars per month includes one bonus video uh podcast per month priority notice on live events and access to a members only chat community on discord family at ten dollars per month steps that up to two bonus episodes per month plus merch and discounts and patron only polls live event pre-sale codes uh friend of the show 25 dollars per month includes all of those plus joe network joe budden's network franchise content including behind the scenes content and episodes on a new show called journey it says here we have so much more to say with the state of the world budden said beyond the regular twice weekly podcast with his friends jamal Mark Clay and Rory Farrell. This is for the fans who want more access. Budden said he never considered putting anything behind a paywall. I don't. I don't believe in stepping off the porch and taking and start asking for something for your audience. Budden thought he took his post uh, podcast off of Spotify last month. Yeah, we know about that. Last year, sorry uh for his part spotify yeah spotify replied it's just funny right they said here spotify said the other streamer made button a considerable offer that was many times the value of the existing agreement and effective of the current market and sizable audience in the end button walked away calling spotify proposal a bum ass deal <laughs> i love that they include that a bum ass deal he's he's being proven right there in the end isn't it like again i've, I've listened to maybe um to be completely honest again this is me being a big joe rogan fan i've been listening to every episode since probably about episode 200 i've listened to maybe five episodes in full on spotify since the move um the app is just shit it doesn't work well you have to use your own you have to use the native the native the app on the sorry the, the desktop application doesn't work great the app works pretty decently um it plays a video in the background which i don't like you can't just listen to it as an audio version and it's just a horrible experience all in all i mean i've listened to an episode in full like i said only five since the move to spotify and you've been proven right man it's just not the best platform that exists it can get move to the side it can maybe maybe it's not necessarily optimized for podcasts in general so for you to kind of sign a deal on there knowing that they're not doing all they can to make the best out of the situation makes no sense and i also think this tiered system of you know uh, allowing fans who want to and have the ability to send you a couple of bucks at the end of the month is really good and something that i hope a lot more artists in music do especially the ones who are you know struggling at the moment in terms of not being able to do live shows that's a great way to kind of you know allow access into what you do and also provide you with an opportunity to make some money you know what i mean like concurrently you know with people just currently paying you a couple of bucks or five dollars per month minimum that's a lot of p coming in there 
Um, you can see this here. Patrons hoping that they are recruiting button in or track creators, which is great, right? So they're not even looking just for the in terms of you know they're happy that he's going to make a lot of money because they are right. Like Joe Biden Network is going to absolutely smash it on there. Um, they're going to get a lot of patrons, especially when you consider how high paid some of the other people are like tim dylan gets like 50 grand per month um flagrant two gets about that come town boys get about that maybe 60 70 grand per month so those dudes then again they don't do as much content as these guys are promising they're going to put out especially to a level they're going to do it to for the community that likes to do this sort of thing i've definitely think they're going to end up cashing out in a really big way but it's interesting that they are aiming this um partnership more so at getting more creators on the platform because i guess for patreon the way they make money is vis-a-vis -vis the amount of if they have more creators on there willing to make content it's going to drive more people to go on there to buy that content or subscribe to it which is then going to lead to them being able to take more uh more little fees out for more creators and like yeah that makes sense yeah that makes sense it continues here more than 200,000 creators earn an income on patreon from a total of more than 6 million patrons the company has paid more than 2 billion to creators since its formation according to conte last september the company announced 90 million in new funding given an evaluation of 1.2 billion said here the financial model in the first 20 years of the web was turning it into a billboard that works and it exploded that was awesome for distribution the trouble is hundreds of years of payment models got left by the wayside and we've forgotten the ad supported internet content he argued comes with a horrible trade-offs uh, around data privacy misinformation and human psychology uh, companies like patreon netflix cameo substack are pushing the next phase about solving financials for creators i'm so pumped for that in Budden, the role as an advisor, Conti said he's going to help us to be a megaphone for us about the gap between creator worth and value. Uh, besides acting as an ambassador for Patreon, Budden will provide input on what kinds of programs the company should launch. Budden said he's working on Patreon for to address everything what's wrong with the monetization system of creators. It's an issue he said that's going to be bigger than me, bigger than Jack, bigger than Patreon. That's flipping awesome. So don't be surprised if you see loads of musicians, your favorite, you know, up coming stars deciding to go on there, maybe putting out Patreon only albums or whatever it may be it's definitely an avenue that i can definitely see booming in the near future